Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you how to clean both filters in a Dyson V7 vacuum cleaner. One filter is recommended to clean by Dyson, but there is also another hidden filter in here, but this one is not recommended. So obviously if you break your vacuum cleaner, then that's your problem, not Dyson's. The first filter is just this one here. You pinch it, you pull it up. The idea is you give it a good whack into a bin to get rid of the loose dust, and then you give this all a nice wash with some clean water. So just run it underneath the tap. In fact, if you look around the place, you can see it's got symbols of taps around here to show you that you're supposed to wash it. Only put it back into here when it's fully dry. So leave it on a radiator overnight or for a day or so until it's completely dry and then you can put it back in. The reason you want to clean these is if you let them get dirty, often it can start pulsing. So when you have your finger on the trigger, it will start, stop, start, stop. And you might think the battery is running out, but the battery might be full. It's to do with a blocked filter. So that's how you clean that one, nice and easy clean it out, run it under the tap, dry it, put it back in. But there is also another one back here as well. It's like a foam pad. This one here has never been opened before, so it'd be interesting to see how dusty it is. Now you need some sort of pry tool. I'm just gonna use a butter knife here just to show you that you will be able to use it with this. Now it is clipped on, so there is a chance you might break the clips. So only do this if your machine is not working properly, because this isn't really designed to be clean because it's not very accessible. But anyway, I'm gonna show you and then uh, you can make up your own mind whether you want to do it yourself. So I'm just putting it in this part here and I'm just going to gently start levering it out. It's very hard to get into. There we go, so the bottom's unclipped here. So now hopefully the top, there we go, top should come out there. Right. So that's the electronics at the back there. Don't touch any of that. Remember, you've still got power going into here because the battery's still connected. If you're nervous about using this, then you can always take the battery out to make it safer. But you can see that if you're careful and don't push it in too far, you're not gonna touch the electrics on the inside. And here we go, you can see the foam here. Now in this instance here, you can see there's not really that much dirt on there. But I'm gonna give it a clean and then uh, put it back together. But on some machines, that might be a lot more clogged up. Right, so I've given it a bit of a clean out, but it was quite disappointing. I was expecting to find a lot more fluff in there. Anyway, let's pop it back in. It shouldn't matter which way around it goes or whether it's up or down. There is a slit here, so you can get it past that little bit sticking out. So put it back in here, press it down. And all we have to do is line it up here You've got the, the sticker here to show you which way to put it. Also, you can see that we've got the big cutter at the bottom here for all the wires here. So it goes that way, and we're just gonna push it in, and it all clicks back into place. And hopefully, if you clean them too, it will stop the pulsing. If you do this to your one, and if this one's really dirty at the back, pop it down in the comments below, because it'd be interesting to see whether everyone's is just as clean as this one here, or whether some of them are very dirty. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching.